Thank you. Well, smoke filled the air this afternoon as several acres of land at the celery bog were set on fire. But it wasn't arson or an accident. News Channel 18's Jesse Owila says the goal of the fire was an environmentally friendly one. 6.8 acres of land at the Celery Bogs Lily Nature Center were torched Friday afternoon. It was a scary scene, but it was for an environmentally friendly and beneficial purpose. Over the years, a lot of the plant material dies and falls to the ground. And by doing a prescribed burn, we burn off the, the layer down there on the ground, opens up the area, which allows more wildflowers to grow in the spring. The fire stays under control with on-site firefighters monitoring the nearby woods and edges of the field. Firefighters torch the field with a drip torch carrying a mixture of gasoline and diesel. It's not as easy as just tossing a match and hoping for the best. We try to work with Mother Nature. We'll start downwind and work against the wind. So it doesn't get out of control, basically. Uh, if we were to start on the other end, this thing would just take off and just go like crazy. The apartment buildings aren't in danger. In fact, a lot of planning goes into setting these fires. They have to look at wind speed and direction. They have to be just right so people stay safe. We picked today to burn because the winds are coming from the south, southwest, and that carries the smoke away from the university place. We want to be good neighbors, of course and uh, don't want the smoke to be bothering anybody. The burned and blackened land will only take a few weeks to grow green, and don't worry about the little critters in the field. They've gone through this a time or two. They'll move. Uh, it's Mother Nature. It's in their instincts. The land is strategically burned one plot of land every two or three years, so the little guys always have a place to run home to. In West Lafayette, Jesse Hawila, News 18.